Hello, here are the answers for the CoFX reading comprehension. This is Wheeler's reading group. So, question number one. In the first paragraph, the author compares echoes to light being reflected off a mirror. Why do you think the author has used this example? Well, in this section here, it talks about how sound bounces off surfaces, a bit like how light bounces off surfaces as well. And one of the most common um, objects that we use with light bouncing off and pictures bouncing off is a mirror. So a mirror is a very common object. And I also put that light bounces off a mirror like sound can bounce off surfaces. OK, question number two. According to the text, why do some animals use echo sounding? We need to find two reasons. So over here, it says that some animals use this method too to spot their enemies or find their prey in the dark. So there are their two answers. Question three, the word frighten on line 10 is what? So we need to look to line 10. So it says frighten people. So if you shout out too loud, you'll frighten people. Then if you frighten someone, it is an act, okay? It is a verb, it is an action, okay? So the answer would be verb, okay? If we said I was frightened, it would be an adjective. Question number four. In your own words, explain how echo sounding is used to measure how deep the sea is. I'm gonna tell you my answer, but actually you might have a slightly different one. As long as it's got the same ideas in, that's absolutely fine. Ultrasound pulses are sent from a ship to the bottom, of the sea and they measure how long it takes to bounce back okay so as long as you're talking about a ship sending ultrasound waves and it bouncing back up and they measure the length of time that's okay you might have just put it in slightly different words number five why do you think bones might reflect ultrasound better than other parts of the body that one would be it is harder so bones are harder so it's easier for it to bounce off of and then question number six which do you think is more useful? Using ultrasound to measure distances underwater or using ultrasound to scan a person's body? Now, that is all what you think, what your preference would be. Do you think it'd be better for doctors and surgeons to use in medicine? Or do you think it's better for ships to know how deep the water is? Make sure that you've explained your answer.